beach. Going to the beach. So it's around 6.30 and we made it to our first stop. Peyton's out of our chair. We're giving her some time while the car charges. Um, it's uh, Our first stop here is in West Virginia. So she did really good this first half. She did sleep some of it, which we thought she would. And uh, yeah, all is going well. Car's charging. Brandon's getting us some breakfast and at Sheets. I just got went to the restroom, so yeah, we're excited. Peyton, are you ready for the beach? Yeah. <laughs> are you excited? Turkey sausage. We stopped at, to got Cracker Barrel to go. And, uh, nothing too crazy. And then, what are you having? I have at my feet French toast. So we'll see if Peyton will eat any of that. But we're charging the car. You'll probably see the chargers behind us. A 15 minute stop. Yeah. Not even, actually. Peyton's like a monkey. We try to get her out every chance we can to get her to move. I said monkey and she's said, <laughs> did you hear her? I heard her. Monkey. She's making monkey noises. Are you <laughs> making monkey noises? You are a little monkey. She's requested 
boss baby for the next leg of the trip, which we last, knew it was coming. Last trip, that's all we watched and listened to the whole time. So, so yeah, we're gonna eat our pre post breakfast. I don't know, late breakfast, late breakfast meal, and then get back on the road. Waiting at Chick fil A. Yeah. Long oh, line. Goodness. It wraps all the way around the building and then there's like a snake loop. So basically you go around the building. People love them some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> where are we at? Greensboro? Greensboro, North Carolina. But I think this is probably about the norm at almost every Chick-fil-A. Yeah. 12, 26 in the afternoon. Yeah, prime lunch time. Yeah. But yeah, and then we're headed off to a sheets where there's a supercharger. We're gonna charge for a good while there. Probably half but an hour. Is, so, and then yeah. that's our last stop until we actually get there, which is shocking to me. Yep. But I think our total charging time today will have been about an hour and 15 minutes of charging. Uh, but I don't think, I mean, really at both of our previous stops, we finished charging and kind of rush out of there and we just barely had enough time to do what we needed to do as yeah. far as eat, go to the bathroom. That's what I was saying yesterday, that even though you have to charge. I think we're actually saved overall time with our trip as compared to have stopping, stopped and gone into a restaurant. Yeah. I think though what I was saying was even though like half an hour or 20 minutes to charge seems like a long time when you talk about it as compared to pulling in and pumping gas. When it's all said and done, I think it's about the same because of the restroom factor and then the restroom, eating factor. and then you look around and find some snacks or whatever. Yeah. You do the same thing while your car's charging. Yeah. So. It doesn't really affect yeah. the drive. Well, I'm ready to get there. It's raining here though, and supposedly there's like a 50-50 chance of rain today down there, so. We don't might, care. might be raining. I just want to get away from being at home. Any day at the beach, even a rainy day, is a better better day than a day at home. And Peyton is watching Trolls World Tour for the second time second time of the trip, but probably oh. total like seven times because yesterday that was the only thing In she the wanted. Last Forty eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen my fair share of Trolls World Tour. Needless to say, we have now purchased. Yeah, we knew Trolls go, World going Tour. into this trip, we should just buy it because it's either that or we would just be listening to. Boss baby. Over and over and over and over. And while that's not so bad, Trolls is at least new to listen yeah, to over something, and over and there's over actually, again. And then there's a lot of music in it, so it's not as bad, I yeah. think. That's making it better. Oh, we've got a pretzel request. I know, but I'm going to wait because we're getting oh, our food. We've got, we've got nuggets coming, Peyton. Chick-fil-A nuggets. Eat, she won't eat these goldfish. But they have like the they're Give the some time. they're the extreme Flavor ones. Blast. Yeah, I think they taste better than original ones. Yeah. Don't you? I, I agree. I don't know. She's goofy on stuff. Typical kid though. Super super picky. The slightest change in something throws her off. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. Last time when we first went to Myrtle with her, was it the first time? No, second time we went to Myrtle with her. The only thing she would eat the whole trip was mac and cheese, remember? <laughs> like that was the only thing we could get. She wouldn't eat, period. And then the only thing I could get her to eat was mac and cheese. Yeah. Silly, silly pay pay. Sometimes you just go with it. You, you have to roll with it. Yeah. Alrighty. Onward or on the road again, as they say. Road again. destination will be the place where that we're staying at yeah so we'll be back there 
I think we got what, like four hours or three hours and 30 minutes is what our GPS says. So, as soon as we get her strapped in, we're gonna be on our way. This area well enough we could probably do it without the yeah we could without the nav right now but De you, definitively we can do it without that we're minutes. 10 minutes away from our yep. our place we're really excited and Peyton's watching yeah. trolls world you tour it. <laughs> but the sun was out for a little bit it's still a little cloudy but getting excited So, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. We made it to our place. I'm gonna show you with the beach first because obviously that's what we've all been waiting for. There's little Miss Peyton. So, I'm starting to clean stuff. Uh, Brandon's parents got lost on the way, so he's heading down to move the car and meet up with them. I told him to leave me and pay up here and we'll start cleaning. There's the water! We are on the 19th floor, so we are pretty doggone high. Um, this might be the highest we've stayed here. We have stayed here before. So let's take you back this way and do it from as if you were entering in. So this is our door. So if you enter in here, I'm trying to see if there's some lights. There we go. It's a little hallway area. And then right off to your left, this will be Brandon's parents' room. We took this room last time. That light switch is not working. We took this room last time when Pei was little and it worked good to put her kind of in the corner. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad little room. The, the full beds and big TV in here for them. I like that the floors are that tile kind of style that we just put in our, our basement. And then off to their room is this bathroom and we have a tub, toilet, nice area. Apparently Peyton's getting inspired by the toilet. Do you have to go potty? Yeah. Okay, hold on. And we have laundry right here. I'm actually surprised there's not a door. It looks like there was at one point. Must have fell off or something. We have the luggage cart up here too which is a miracle we got it. It is so busy. This is just a furnace cabinet with a broom, air conditioning cabinet. And in the kitchen, it's out here. The fridge, not bad. And countertop, stove, lots of st storage are some of our junk that I'm starting to unload. Dishwasher, sink, and in the living room slash dining room area. It's out here. And then this will be our bedroom. It's a bigger bed. Like I said, we trade off bigger beds. Last time they had the bigger ones, so this time we're gonna put Peyton in this corner and have her in her pack and play, never shut her off. It's a little quieter, actually, oceanfront than it is the backside we found because the the highway and the cars get kind of loud. So, bed. We also have a TV, and the shower, bathroom area. This bathroom is actually the tub's bigger, but the shower is smaller. If that makes sense. Like the sorry, tub's bigger, the bathroom's smaller. That makes a little more sense. So yeah, there's that. And then, like I said, back out into the living room area. Got the couch, got a big TV, and big opening and balcony out to the beach. It's really cool. We usually spend some time out here sitting. 
I'm actually surprised there are no chairs on our balcony. I wonder if that's like a thing that you're not allowed to sit on the balcony now. I don't know because of COVID. I want to look into that. We'll let you guys know if we find out anything. I'm gonna get back to cleaning. Hopefully I can get some of the stuff clean before. Cause as you see, she's already crawling on the floor making my germaphobeness increase. But we'll give you guys more. We're happy to be here. It's been an exhausting day. We're gonna get ready and then get down to the beach soon.